We can't necessarily say it's a hijack, but it's certainly very deliberately been taken um, according to the flight profile. We would expect that. It doesn't look like any technical failure, just the flight path is wrong for that. So uh, it looks like somebody has taken over with a great deal of planning or a great deal of technical knowledge uh, in order to move the aircraft uh, as far west as it has done for its last reported position. Yeah, I mean, just with your knowledge of aircraft and aircraft safety, there is no way that this could be an accidental sequence of events, could it? It would certainly be a very, uh, uh, one we've never predicted before. The only times we've seen anything like this before has been deliberate interference with the aircraft by either crew or passengers. And that's what the Prime Minister as well was saying, that this is consistent with a deliberate act uh, on behalf of, by somebody on the plane. Where will the investigation go now? Well, Everything is sort of preliminary information. You, you've heard that the primary radar data from the point where it was last officially seen at the Malaysia-Vietnam border to the point where it disappears off towards Indonesia, uh, well to the west of Malaysia. That radar uh, tape will be analysed. Uh, we can demonstrate whether it was a 777 or not if enough technical analysis is carried out on it or indeed what type of aircraft or, or, or object it was. So that will be undergoing some technical scrutiny now. Um, and then we would hope that the other countries around there would declare what they have seen on their radars if indeed they've seen anything at all. Um, but it does take a degree of cooperation with the military authorities in all sorts of other different countries to see what was going on. I mean, already we had sort of 14 countries involved in the search. That is now going to spread even more, especially over that northern corridor that the Prime Minister was describing. But one point uh, that we were talking about earlier is uh, the idea that if passengers on that plane realised something was going wrong, like it was flying for far too long, then they might have got their mobile phones out. And so there may be some kind of mobile phone record suggesting contact with relatives. We're not hearing much of that at the moment. Do you think that might be a line of inquiry? Um, there will be, everything will be uh, looked at. I'm sure that the American military assets will start to look, look for people's mobile phone numbers and, and see what they've managed to record. Um, beyond that, the crew, or, or in terms of taking it over, may well have had to disable the in-flight entertainment system as well. Otherwise, the moving map would tell you where you were going. So, yes, th there's quite a lot of actions that have to go on. But some of the areas that it could be over are very remote uh, without any mobile phone signal when you start to get towards mountains and, and desert areas and things like that.